So next topic is designing a Turing machine. By the language is 0 power n, 1 power n such that n greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so n number of zeros followed by n number of 1. Okay, the value of n is greater than or equal to 0. So whenever the tape is empty also, it should accept the string. So the language consists of the string epsilon, 0, 1, double 0, double 1, triple 0, triple 1, 4, 0, 4, 1, so on. Right, should uh, accept epsilon also. If the tape is empty also, if tape contains blank symbol also, it should accept that string. That is for this one. Okay, so what will be the algorithm? What are the steps? So, suppose I am taking the string 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. The logic behind uh, this is for the first 0, I need to find out the first one, matching one. For the second 0, I need to find out the second one. Okay, for the third 0, I need to find out the third one. Okay, then remaining will be the blank symbol. Right. So, whenever I am seeing the first zero, I need to replace it with x. I need to keep moving towards right until I see the first one. Re then replace it with y. After seeing the first one, I need to move backward to see the first zero. Okay. Now, this one replaced with x. So, I need to move till I am seeing a x. After that, I need to move just one step forward. Then, I will see a zero. Then, replace it with x. Keep moving towards right until I see a one. Whenever I am seeing 1, again replace it with y. Keep moving towards left. So, moving towards right and left, whatever I, we are seeing, just to keep as it is. Okay, don't rewrite. So, after replacing the 1 with y, move towards left until I see the last updated 0. Then, just to keep moving towards one step right. Then, we will see a 0. Replace it with x. Keep moving towards right. So, you will see y. Okay, don't do anything. Whenever 1 I am seeing, just replace it with y. Keep moving towards left. Okay, then until we see x, don't do anything, just to keep as it is, then just to move towards right. In the right direction, I am not seeing any 0, only y, so keep as it is and move towards right. Then the point is pointing to the blank symbol. If I am seeing a blank symbol, don't do anything, that means the string is accepted. Right, so this is a logic. So what we need to do, what is the first step? We need to, whenever I am seeing a 0, I need to change 0 to x. Okay. So, whenever I am seeing a 0, I need to replace x. Then what I need to do? I need to move towards right. Move right until I see first one. Okay. If no one means, the string is rejected. Then after move, so we are moving after replacing 0, first 0 with x, we are moving towards right. So we will see some zeros don't do anything. If we are seeing a 1, replace it with y. Okay, so what we need to do, change 1 to y. Whenever I am seeing a 1, I need to replace it with y. After replacing with y, I need to move backward. <coughs> I need to move left to leftmost 0. So, for that, I need to move towards left to leftmost x. Whenever I am seeing x, what I need to do? Just to keep after seeing x, keep as it is, then move right, one step right. Then what we need to do? Then repeat the procedure. Repeat step 1 to 5. Okay, we need to repeat the steps until there is no more, no zeros and ones left. There is no zeros and ones, we need to keep this. So, I am just showing one example. See, now the pointer is pointing towards the first zero, right? So, whenever I am seeing the first zero, what I need to do? I need to replace this zero with x. Okay, so, I am drawing the transition diagram also. So, whenever I am seeing a 0, I need to replace it with x and I need to keep moving towards right. So, whenever I am seeing a 0, I am replacing the 0 with x, then I am moving towards right. So, one at a time only one step it will move. Okay. So, it is moving one step. Now, the pointer is pointing to next 0. So, after replacing the first 0 with x, I need to find a matching one. So, I need to travel till I am seeing a first one. Okay, so in between I can see something. 
so whatever i am seeing i need to keep as it is so whenever i am seeing a zero don't do anything keep as it is and just keep moving towards right so again i am moving the pointer towards right again i am seeing a zero don't do anything keep moving towards right that's why i put it in the self loop okay n number of zeros in the rightward direction just keep as it is and move towards right so i am moving towards right so whenever I am seeing a one. What I need to do? I need to replace it with y. Okay. So whenever I am seeing a one, I need to replace it with y. After replacing it with y, I need to find out the next zero and the corresponding one. So I need to move towards back. I need to move towards left. So I need to move towards left. So in between, while moving towards left, I can see something. So keep as it is. Whenever I am seeing a zero, don't do anything. Just keep moving towards left. again next okay again zero don't do anything then i need to go till the last updated symbol so i am re seeing a x whenever i am seeing x that is the last updated zero what i need to do i need to keep as it is just move one step right that's why i am not putting the self loop i need to go till the last updated zero so last updated zero is zero will be updated by x uh, whenever we are seeing x i need to keep as it is move towards right so i need to move towards right okay so again this step uh, repeat so whenever i am seeing a zero i need to replace it with x then keep moving towards right right so while traveling right i can see zero keep as it is move towards right so while moving towards right until we see a one i can see a y also so whenever i am seeing a y i need to keep as it is move towards right so i need to move towards right so whenever i am seeing one i need to replace it with y then what i need to do i need to move towards back okay move towards left so the pointer is pointing to the left so in the left i can see zero as well as y so whenever i am seeing a y also don't do anything keep moving towards left i am seeing a zero whenever i am seeing a zero keep as it is move towards left i need to go till last updated zero whenever i am seeing a x i need to keep uh, keep the x as it is and just move the pointer towards right move the pointer towards right okay then this process repeat whenever i am seeing a zero so after uh, don't do anything while seeing x j okay just keep moving towards right then if you are seeing a zero replace it with x what i need to do keep moving towards right so zero replace with x keep moving towards right so replacing zero with x i am seeing a y if i am seeing a y don't do anything keep as it is move towards right okay again i am seeing y don't do anything move towards right in the right i am seeing a one whenever i am seeing a one i need to replace it with y then i need to move towards left left in the left i am seeing y don't do anything keep as it is move towards left again i am seeing y so keep as it is move towards left only at a time one step we can move if i am seeing x what i need to do don't do anything keep moving towards right okay we will reach here keep moving towards right so i am seeing y i am not seeing zero right so i can't move through this direction so what i need to do whenever i am seeing a y don't do anything keep moving towards right here i am seeing n number of y's okay so just to put a self loop whenever i am seeing a y keep as it is move towards right again i am seeing y repeat the same thing don't do anything keep as it is okay then again moving towards right so here i am seeing the blank symbol whenever i am seeing a blank symbol don't do anything just keep moving towards left or right so now we are seeing the blank symbols only so while seeing blank symbol means everything completed that means the string is accepted okay now we replaced all zeros with x and all zeros with one so, uh, all zero all ones with y so we can see the matching zero and matching ones and remaining nothing to replace no zeros and ones pending so that means only blank symbols are left here remaining that means string is accepted so i already told you uh, 
epsilon should also be accepted if the tape contains if the tape contains blank symbols only it indicates epsilon right so we need to accept this one also greater than or equal to zero case you need to draw this also okay that means if we are seeing a blank symbol also don't do anything so this is a transition diagram for this particular problem q0 q1 q2 q3 right